Hello, how are you guys doing? Uh, it is December 23rd, it's Wednesday, day before Christmas Eve. We always call that Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> Probably you guys do too. Um, but this is my 23rd day of Flossmas, so I hope uh, you guys are all doing well. Thank you for joining me again. Um, we are just kind of wrapping up craft time before dinner time here. So I thought I'd show you what I worked on um, this afternoon. We had a pretty busy day. We did not get to go ice skating because I didn't realize you have to bring your own skates and we don't have any skates. <laughs> so we couldn't go. Um, but I did book, um, I booked another place. You have to call in advance and make um, reservations now for just about anything in our town and so that's what I did. I made reservations for Monday at um, an outdoor rink that's close by. So hopefully that's gonna work out and they have rentals for us already. I booked them online. <laughs> so I'll try again next week. Um, but because of that, my daughter's friend still kind of came. She's our neighbor. She's like our third daughter. So she's kind of been quarantining with us. Um, you know safely um, we know her family pretty well and we trust them and they trust us so it works out that she can come over to our house and hang out every now and then um, but she came over today and the girls exchanged gifts and it was really cute to watch and then they made up a game I'm sure if you have kids at all whatever age <laughs> You've heard of Among Us. <laughs> Fourth graders, my students love it. They are absolutely like obsessed with it. So that was my Christmas present to them. I put up some uh, downloadable coloring pages for them. So I hope they enjoyed it. But my daughter and her friend, they're eighth graders, middle schoolers. So they're pretty old. <laughs> They love it too, and even my high schooler loves it. So it's kind of an all age game, I guess. Anyways, my daughter and her friend made up um, a live action <laughs> Among Us game for us to play, and it was super cute. We had fun playing it. And um, I'm thinking I could use that idea in my classroom if we ever go back to real life school to kind of motivate the kids to get things done. You know what I mean? So it was pretty cute and very inventive. Let's see. Anyway, so I didn't get too much stitching done, but I got done what I wanted to get done, which was the church on my Prairie Schooler Happy Christmas. So here's what that pattern looks like. And I'm slowly getting closer to being done. Here it is. That church on the bottom there is what I stitched up today, all the red building part of it. So I have to add the door and the bell. I added a little bit more snow because I had extra white thread to, to fill in with. So I just use it there, but I got it done. <laughs> I'm so thankful for that because I had a little time anyway. I'm not sure if I'll stitch on this later. I really feel like I might wanna work on my diamond painting after dinner tonight. So I think that's what I'm gonna to go towards. Um, just one other little craft I finished was my orange um, cozy. I think a little orange bird will look super cute on here. So maybe I'll get him and check it out later and see what it looks like. But I think it's gonna be perfect for that. So one done. I guess two this week. So pretty fun. That's literally it guys. <laughs> I think today's video is going to be short and sweet. Um, we are super excited about tomorrow. We have one more little errand to run in the morning and then like that's the only thing we have planned for the next three days, which is kind of exciting. Uh, my husband and I will probably try to run a 5k this in the next few days. We bought one. Um, it was an online one, like virtual, and it's um, it's a winter at Hogwarts theme, but the medals are really cute, and they came with wands and t-shirts. 
So I always like Christmas t-shirts and a Hogwarts 5K Christmas t-shirt. I just couldn't say no to. <laughs> so that'll be fun uh, to wear for Christmas and do a little 5K. So that's kind of on our list and I don't know if we'll do it tomorrow. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll probably wait um, for another day, but I will still check in with you guys on Christmas Eve. I'm so excited and I hope you are all doing well today. Happy day 23 of Flossmas and happy Christmas Eve Eve. Bye. I restitched all of the part I had taken out except for just one little line. I'm almost fully done uh, restitching what I had pulled out. So sorry, it's kind of a funky little thing. There you go. I got the church steeple in and I, I haven't done the belt yet, but I got all that snow in. It's almost done there. It's looking really pretty though. I'm hoping to stitch a little bit more on this tonight. Uh, we're supposed to do a Zoom call with our friends and I'm not sure if I'll be able to sneak some stitching in, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna try. <laughs> Hopefully finish up that church. And then I'm gonna move on to the tree again. Um, if I can't get this done, I can always work on this because crochet is sneaky. Like you don't have to have that up close to your face and you don't have to be looking down to do it. 